Hello, Annie Cod here and today we're going to be talking about the auto turret. I'm going to take you through the different setups, I'll take you through the electronic input and outputs and I'll show you a couple of builds as well so you can understand the operation of it. Now for a long old time the auto turret used to come with an AK-47 in there automatically. This is not the case anymore and you have to craft your own gun. Now this has got an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage being you can put any weapon in there now. The disadvantage is you need to actually find a weapon to put in there. Now, the auto turret is reasonably cheaper for that reason. It costs one targeting computer, one CCTV, and 40 high qual. It takes 60 seconds to craft, and not a lot of people know this, but it can actually fire through the prison cell gates, prison walls, the floor grills, for example, chain link fence, chain link gate. So you can still place the turrets in cover and still get the benefit of the protection. Now, another thing a lot of people don't know is the turret is highly susceptible to melee damage so the auto turret comes with a thousand health but for example a single hatchet swing can do 20 damage even a rock does about five damage another bad point is the turret will generally lock onto someone and waste quite a lot of ammo depending on either the weapon attached or especially if someone's hiding in cover and getting the turret to shoot against the cover so it doesn't hit you this is called baiting there's been lots of updates to stop this from happening it is still possible to bait a turret but it's much much harder now than it used to be it is also possible now to run past doorways for example because the turrets have to reload so for example if you've got a weapon in there with a 30 shot mag after 30 shots it will need to reload so you have got that second or two to make you move before the turret will lock on and start firing again so you can use that to your advantage now when placing a turret it's pretty straightforward like everything else you do get the direction of fire and it gives you a 45 degree arc and that's the lock on arc now you will be able to sneak up behind it so you need to be really careful which way you put it facing and um, it'll then give you a little, the little plus sign to authorize like you've just seen and as you can see it's empty like we discussed before so there's no ammo and no gun in there so to load a gun all you do is make sure you've got one in your inventory so i'm just going to put an ak in there for for example now if you put the ak in with a full mag it'll start firing immediately once it locks on if you put an empty ak in there then it will need to reload so if you drop the ammo underneath it will take 30 rounds out of that ammo before it starts firing now remember what I mentioned before you can put pretty much any weapon in here in fact this is where I stop and correct myself you can put any ranged weapon in here <sighs> Don't start trying to put spears or rocks in here because it just won't work. So you do get quite a few options when you open it up. You get a clear authorization list, which obviously clears everyone authorized. You can deauthorize yourself on it. You can open it up so you can see the weapon and the ammo. You can put it to peacekeeper mode, which is it shows a green laser and you can rotate. Now the peacekeeper mode will only target players that are threatening. So any players with weapons, for example, the rotate obviously it turns it around. The best way to see what direction it's in is by plugging it in now to pick the turret up all you have to do is take the weapon out of there make sure you're authorized on it and then you will get a little symbol to pick it up and you just pick it up now just one thing to take into consideration try not to move a turret too much because every time you pick it up it will do a set amount of damage to it you can repair them so don't panic too much if you do need to move your turret you can just get your hammer out and some metal flag and you can fix it now you might notice that the turret's facing up in the sky that's because there's no power so to turn the turret on you don't actually need to be authorized scarily enough make sure you're authorized now just in the, as an example for this video i'm in god mode here so i can't die i'm just going to turn the turret on without authorizing so you can see the fire right and see it lock on to me for example now it only requires 10 power to power a turret so once you've got your 10 power simply hook it up to your mains by the way the turret didn't turn on them because i haven't flicked the switch yet so i'm going to hook both of them on flick the switch Switch to turn it on and both turrets will activate as you can see now they're not firing at me as I mentioned before that's because I've sneaked up behind them so if you are able to do this with a base you're aiding for example then you can sneak up behind it don't worry about taking them out now just quickly I am going to wire these up so you've got three nodes as well one outputs for when you're out of ammo so you can for example link this up to a light and then when the turret is completely out of ammo that light will light up so for example if you've got your turret outside you can hear it firing away when you get the little flashing blue light you know it's out of ammo and you need to make a play because it's probably getting destroyed so we're going to turn the turret on and i'm going to waste the ammo so you can see the light turning on now you can see you've got the big 
dirty red laser in your face, uh, the turret will lock onto you at quite a good range. And once it's locked onto you once, it'll stay with you. So if you run behind a corner and run back out again, it'll immediately lock back onto you again. Now, you can see the light flashing, but there's still ammo in the weapon. The simple reason behind that is, this light flashes when the storage for the ammo is empty, not the actual weapon itself. So remember that. Now, there's also a low ammo. So obviously, if, if the turret starts running out, it'll output power. So for example, we're just going to put it back into this little flashing light so you can see it. I'm going to take some ammo out. So there's still ammo in there. I'm going to turn it on and you can see instantly the light starts flashing because we're low on ammo. Now, the turret also has a has target diode. So for example, whenever the turret locks onto someone, it outputs electricity. For example, it's just locked onto me then. Instead of hooking up to the light, which would work also, I've upped it up to a counter so you can see uh, our increments. Now for this to work you do need to put permanent power into the bottom of the counter and then you need to make sure you put it onto the increment counter so every time it locks onto you it'll put a little bit of power into the increment counter and it'll put the numbers up. You can also make it complicated and have other traps and other systems bringing the counter back down again but I'm just giving you an example on this one. So there you go you can see every time the turret loses line of sight and then regains line of sight it will put the counter up another increment so for example locked onto me again that's three so if i break sight run round to it locks on it knocks it up to four this is really good if you want to see how busy an area is and you're not online or even if you're going exploring and seeing if anyone's eyeing up your base and getting locked on by your turret now what we've done here is an absolutely basic build so we've got an increment counter for the amount of times the turret's locked on we've got lights for when it's low on ammo and we've also got a light for when it's completely out of ammo there's also speakers what would work as well there's quite a few things what you'd do but i'm going to show you one example now of a trap based design that automatically protects the turret when it's out of ammo so you don't have to worry about people baiting the turret and then destroying it after which gives you a little bit more protection so for this build we're going to need two main items which is a blocker and a door controller obviously we're going to need a turret as well i didn't think i'd mention that because I thought that would be obvious. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure the blocker has got power. Now I say this in every video, this is not wired up in the most economical way, that's up to you to sort out, I'm just showing you the operation. So the top of the blocker goes directly into, if I run around here, da -da -da -da, into the door controller. Now if you don't know how to pair a door controller, all you have to do is make sure the door is unlocked, press on the door controller and when you've got a green light you can lock the door again and that means that door controller is then paired to that door. So all we have to do then is hook the block, the top of the blocker up into the door controller and the door should open. Perfect, there we go. Right, now we need the doors to automatically close again once the turret runs out of ammo. So how do we do this then? Well, if you look on the turret, there'll be a no ammo output and that activates power when the turret runs out of ammo. So if we put that into the side of the blocker, when the turret runs out of ammo, it'll put power into the side of the blocker, block the power going to the door and automatically close the doors. So Make sure you've got power going actually into the turret to power the turret. Again, nice and obvious. I'm going to deauthorize on it just so you can uh, so you can see it shooting. And when that's active, I'll go around the corner now and you can see exactly what happens. Now there is a limited amount of ammo in here, so the door closes straight away. I don't want you waiting around for a while. So now if you've got a thousand ammo in this turret, for example, the door will stay open even through the reloads. The door will only close when there's no ammo actually in the storage at the bottom. And a good thing about this is, when the doors close, because the ammo's ran out of the storage in the bottom of the bar, there is still going to be a full mag of ammo in the turret. So, if someone comes along and thinks the door's closed because the turret's ran out of ammo and they blow through the door, they will continue to get shot at for at least one more mag. So if you have got something like an M249 in there, it's still going to offer you a lot of protection. As I mentioned before, there's a million builds you can do with turrets. 
I've just shown you a handful of the basic ones and just shown you the basic operation. If there's anything you think I've missed or anything you want to see or want me to cover, just let me know and I'll get straight to it and I'll add it to the list. New videos are out every Monday anyway. If you do want to see what video's coming out next, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the video's thumbnails before the next upload is even released. You can see what I'm up to on Twitter as well. If you learnt anything new or you just generally enjoyed the bants, feel free to uh, leave a like and if you want to see more, or you can also subscribe to me and you'll be notified every Monday when the videos drop. If you're watching this right now on the day of release, then I'm probably streaming as well. So my Twitter link is in the description. Come along, I'm probably going to be playing some VR horror games or something. So come along and say hi and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys, bye.